Good morning, boys and girls. Today I have a very exciting story. It is exciting because it can be applied to today's things that are going on. It can be applied to today's world. It can be applied to our lives so much. We are confronted with this pandemic. Some of you are having to go to school face to face. But I have this wonderful, wonderful lesson that God has given us. And I, I know you're going to be blessed. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this lesson that you're going to give us, Father God, this message that you're giving to all of us. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Okay, to begin with, this lesson is taken from the book of Deuteronomy, which is the Old Testament. And it's Deuteronomy chapter 30, uh, verse 20, okay? And, um, and so I want you to pay attention because some of you are already familiar with Daniel. Daniel, who was put in the lion's den. Let's listen to the story. King Darius chose 120 princes throughout his kingdom. He also chose three presidents to watch over the princes. He chose Daniel as one of his presidents. Daniel was trustworthy and honest, and the king planned to put him in charge of his whole kingdom. The other leaders were jealous. They watched for Daniel to do something wrong so they could complain to the king. Soon they realized that they would never find anything against Daniel unless it had something to do with his God. The leaders went to the king and said, you should make a law that says for 30 days, no one may pray to any God or man except you. If someone breaks the law, he should be thrown into the lion's den. King Darius agreed and made the law. When Daniel heard about the law, he went into his house, opened his window, and faced Jerusalem, and got down on his knees. Then he prayed to God. He prayed to God three times each day, just as he had always done. The leaders searched for Daniel and found him praying to God. They hurried to the king and said, Daniel has ignored you. And Daniel has ignored what you have said, O king. He prays three times each day to his God. The leaders insisted that the king throw Daniel into the lion's den. The king was upset. But the law could not be changed. As Daniel was thrown into the den, King Darius said, Oh, Daniel, may the God you serve rescue you. A large stone was placed over the opening, and the king sealed the stone with his ring. The king could not sleep all night. The next morning, he hurried to the lion then and called to Daniel. Daniel! Daniel was alive and safe. He said, God sent an angel and shot the lion's mouth. They haven't hurt me. King Darius was overjoyed. 
and gave orders to take Daniel out of the lion's den. The king wrote a new law that people in his kingdom should worship Daniel's God because he is the living God and he rescued Daniel from the lion's den. As you can see, Daniel was put in a very tough spot, pretty much the way we are as a nation, okay? Nevertheless, God took care of Daniel. And that's what this lesson is all about. This lesson is telling us that God is all-powerful, that God is in control of all things. And just the way he took care of Daniel, God is going to take care of each of us. Daniel experienced the power of God when these lions just roam around and their mouth would not be open. The same thing, we will experience God's power because God is going to take care of us. God is going to take care of each of us from this pandemic. Just listen to the verse. The verse is taken from Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. May the Lord bless his word. And remember, God loves us. He has not forgotten us. God cares for us, and he will be with us and protect us. Amen? Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for such a beautiful lesson. Give us the courage, Father God, and the faith to endure this situation. And we pray, Father God, for this pandemic to be gone and away from our country. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Until next time. Bye-bye.